What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here, and today I have something a little bit different. I was actually lucky enough to be invited by Bungie to play the full version of Destiny in Seattle about a week ago, a few days before PAX. It was a lot of fun, and I just wanted to share some of the tips and tricks I found, because I played the Warlock the entire time that I was there. It was two days, and I found out a bunch of cool things that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, we were given the chance to play with characters that were level 15, meaning that we had the subclasses that were previously unavailable unlocked for us to use. If you didn't know, there are three classes. There's the Titan, Warlock, and and hunter which you can use and they're all different they all have different abilities and different play styles personally i enjoyed the warlock the most so i'm bringing you this video today with some tips and tricks for the warlock class so you can wreck your opponents in the crucible which is the pvp multiplayer mode in destiny for those unfamiliar, the Warlock is a class in Destiny that combines magic with modern weapons. They have the special melee ability, Force Push, which greatly increases your melee range, and you can really kill people from a far distance. Like all the other classes, the Warlock has two subclasses which you could choose from, with a third coming in a future DLC. The current subclasses for the Warlock are Voidwalker, which is a glass cannon subclass which is available from the start, and the Sunsinger subclass which is tailored for more of a support medic role which is unlocked at level 15. I can already tell you from both of these subclasses, the Voidwalker one is going to be the most people's go-to subclass because of its amazing damage output. Now if you didn't know, while playing the game you can get supercharged through getting kills, doing certain in-game actions, or picking up orbs of light which are dropped by other players when they use their super abilities. To activate your super ability, simply hit L1 and R1 at the same time, or LB and RB depending on which console you're on. As a Warlock, if you choose the Voidwalker subclass, you have the ability to use Nova Bomb for your super, which lets you shoot a giant explosive bolt of energy at your enemies, which usually kills them instantly. This is really a basic explanation of it, because you could actually slightly modify the ability and a bunch of your other ones, as well as your stats through the skill tree. There's no right or wrong way to use the skill tree, so definitely try out a bunch of different combinations and see what works best for you. Now as for the other subclass, because we've been talking about Voidwalker most of the time, the Sunsinger is way more team and support oriented. It also has a higher learning curve to truly master. I didn't play too much with this class, but if you're into being a team player, then definitely check out this subclass when you unlock it at level 15. Its special ability makes you have more fire damage, makes you do more damage, it really depends how you customize it, so definitely be sure to check it out. Now, let's get on to the weapons and gameplay. Now the weapons you choose as a warlock in the crucible are really a big deal. You can really choose any primary weapon you'd like and you know get the feel for which one you like the most and for me and many others that have played the game I have found that the auto rifle is the most effective especially the Sidonia weapon because it has the perfect stats on a weapon. An example of how much stats matter is that without really paying attention I scrapped my Sidonia for a higher attack damage auto rifle and that one had a really high rate of fire that made it really impossible to kill anything so I just ended up switching classes and playing another one. As for secondary weapons as a Warlock you're going to want to 100% choose the shotgun and the reason behind that is that the shotgun combined with the Warlock's long range melee attack is just the most amazing thing ever and it's too amazing to be ignored. It's seriously the best combo you can do in this game. I don't have too many clips of it in this video, I don't think I have any at all, but I did have a lot in my free for all video which is sort of corrupted so I can't use it, but this combo is very effective and if you get close enough you simply hit him with the shotgun, just one shot to take down the shield and one melee from a very generous distance and support will finish them off. Mastering this combo and knowing how far you can melee is definitely required as a warlock to get the extra advantage. Remember that your shotgun ammo is limited but you could pick up more around the map from the green crates that you see. Finally, for the special weapon, it's really up to you, but I would suggest the rocket launcher. Most rocket launchers are one shot kill, and to find ammo for them, you will see an incoming special ammo crate, and they will spawn as purple crates on the map. They show up in the same spot every time, so make sure you memorize where they are on the maps, and grab them as quickly as possible, because it's an easy couple of kills for you. To take out your rocket launcher, simply hold down Y on Xbox or Xbox One, or Triangle on PlayStation 3 or PS4, and that'll take it out. You don't start with any ammo on this, and you do have to find it, so make sure to look out for those purple crates. As for general gameplay advice, I would suggest sticking away from long range battles and sticking to close to mid range fights where the warlock excels. Using the shotgun with melee combo is deadly and once you master it, you will be the king of close combat. Add that in with your super powerful special ability and your grenades which you can spec a ton of different ways and people will be scared to enter close quarters combat with you. Just remember to regen your shield after most every fight and you should be good. On that note, I would also think about specking into more battle recovery and toughness in your skill tree because the warlock can be a bit squishy sometimes. Overall, even after playing the other two classes, I found the Warlock to be my favorite, and I think it will be many of yours as well. The combination of power and unique abilities makes it the class that suits me the best and the one that I enjoyed playing the most. 
with all that being said i want to know what are your tips and tricks for fellow warlocks out there and even if you don't play this class or you play some other class if you notice some of the weaknesses that warlocks have be sure to leave a comment below thanks for watching i hope you have an awesome day and peace out